Welcome to this little video series about the Privilege Access Suite for Unix and its various components like the Management Console for Unix, Authentication Services or Privilege Management. In this video we're going to show you what you can do with that product, how you configure it, how you set it up, how to operate in your environment and of course we're going to talk about the various additional value you're going to benefit from. So one of the things is what's it used for? Very easy. It is used just to bring stuff together. In this case, you bring together all these various worlds of Windows and Unix, just being centralized managed by the Active Directory. And of course, it enables you to use some nice features like cross-domain authentication, single sign-on, and whatever you want. Of course, we're going to talk about migration. How do you enable coming from a very more isolated system environment to a centralized one? And of course, we're going to talk about in much more details about the various configuration things, how to enable things, how to do privilege management, how to do authentication, and so on and so on, based on the technology that is used in that product. Before we're going to go for these various components of the Privileged Access Suite for Unix and how to configure them and how to introduce them into your environment, let me give you a short overview about the capabilities of the various parts of it. As I've said, the Privileged Access Suite for Unix is a suite, so it has multiple building blocks. And the basic question at the beginning usually is, what's for? So the first one it is doing, it is consolidating your accounts from Unix and from Windows into Active Directory. So every account now is located in the Active Directory and Active Directory will be used as your source for authentication or authorization, whatever it's used for. And this will, con will be used for every account from the Unix side as from the Windows side. On top of that, you can have much more better security because you can make use of all the security uh, mechanisms in Active Directory on the Unix side as well. And you can have an audit trail for your individual accountability that more or less goes for the sudo or the privilege manager, manager view on this so that you can record stuff and you can then review it and see what, what was going on in your system and who was doing what. And of course, when you have a centralized site, you can use that site for a centralized reporting because you have all these information centralized. When you have all done this, you have made a switch from a more isolated Unix environment. Unix environment, as you may, see, may know, is just from the beginning as, as it was designed on from uh, something like single individual boxes that act more or less individual. And then you're going to put them all together under the big umbrella of your Active Directory where all your information is centralized. So let's have a look on the product suite in detail. And not just not to make it too simple, we have two editions of it. First one is the standard edition and the second one is the advanced edition. If you take a brief look on that slide, you're going to see that the standard edition differs only in one component compared to the advanced edition. And this is here um, written as enhanced sudo uh, compared to replace sudo. Enhanced sudo means that we have capabilities in that product suite to make management of sudo much more easier. And replace sudo is pretty much the same thing, but of course you're going to get rid of sudo and replace it with a different one. In this case, it's the privilege manager for Unix. And this will have much more capabilities as the one that sudo can provide. But we're going to cover this in detail later. One of the core components of the product is the AD bridging. AD bridging is often referred as the authentication services or QAS, as I usually refer it to. So when you hear me saying QAS, it's AD bridging. So in this case, it makes use of Kerberos technology to bring Active Directory and Unix together and use Kerberos for authentication as well. In addition, you can use group policy management and, and the related group policy objects and whatever administrative templates and all this technical stuff to manage your accounts on Unix via group policy management coming from Active Directory. This is a very nice feature and it eases management of a very distributed Unix Windows based environment a lot. And whatever comes, comes with that, one of the main features again on that is that you can make use of the security features of Active Directory in Unix as well. 
For instance, you can use the AD password policies and all these related things like password changing and requesting and certificates and whatever it comes with that security that are built into Active Directory that will now expand transparently to the Unix world. The next thing we're going to look on is about migration. So once you have taken the decision, OK, we're going to use Quas or the authentication service or the Privilege Access Suite for Unix to migrate from a single isolated Unix environment to a combined Active Directory based one, how can we tackle that uh, stuff to go the way down to, in the end, reach that aim of a consolidated environment? OK, the first one we're going to use is we're going to use a feature of something that's called mapped user mode. Mapped user mode enables you to override the Unix definition in the password file with information on coming from Active Directory, but not all of it, maybe on in parts of it. One of the common use cases is that you may use all of your group definitions and whatever definitions that are in that file uh, on the Unix, but you may want to have it like use the Active Directory password instead of the local one. So you're going to authenticate to Active Directory, but you're going to use all the other information coming from the local file definition instead of coming from Active Directory, what in the end will be the goal to reach. The next one is you're going to enhance this stuff a little bit more, and then you have to have a look on the uh, file access rights on your isolated boxes. The problem with that is that if, depending on your Unix personality, you may have different access to different files on different systems. But if you consolidate everything into one directory, then there may be an overlap of your information so that you may get access to different files that are you not allowed to. But this will be covered later in a, in a separate video, so I'm just gonna go, don't going to go too into detail like that. And combine that with various other steps, in the end, you're going to run a couple of scripts on tools that we provide so that everything will be adjusted and fixed and then voila, with magic, you're going to be consolidated and everything comes from Active Directory in a unique way. One of the next things we have, we are going to tackle is about Unix delegation. Unix delegation means that you're going to have some mechanism in Unix that enables you to run commands under control of a different user. So maybe you want to run it as the root account with extended permissions and capabilities. And the common approach to, to use this in Unix is sudo. Sudo is yeah, coming from the local approach of the original Unix systems, locally managed, but it can be managed using a directory, directory server like LDAP. But this is not the easiest way to go. But with the stuff we're going to deliver to you via group policies or via our extended or standard edition stuff, we're going to have more capabilities and much more easier to handle tools that will enable you to make this stuff much more easier in your environment. And if you find that sudo is not capable to cover all of your requirements in security, you may want to have a look on the Privilege Manager for Unix. The Privilege Manager for Unix gives you much more control about the capabilities that you can restrict or deny or allow or whatever, so that it goes a little bit more on compared to sudo, because the basic mechanism in the Privilege Manager is that you can write a policy that restricts what you're allowing or that defines what you're allowed to do or not is much more like a program. And this, this gives you the, the, the advantage that your policy adapts dynamically to your requirements or to your conditions or the, whatever you, you want. So that is very, very flexible, while sudo instead is much more static approach. And last but not least, we're going to deliver a very nice console that is called the uh, Management Console for Unix that allows you with a web-based approach to have a look on all your environments and manage the hosts and manage the distribution of software and the configuration with a single point and click. Just one thing to mention, Management Console for Unix is in sustain mode, so it will not be actively developed at the current moment and it may be deprecated in the, in the future but you have to listen for the appropriate announcement. But in the current moment, you can use it as you want. Uh, and we're going to cover this later in one of our videos as well.